I'd like to introduce Ekta Marcoulier, our Executive Director of the Pikes Peak Small Business Development Center. And as a business leader, Ekta is able to share unique insights towards the future growth of business in Colorado utilizing data. Take it away, Ekta. Thank you, Zach. I'm so excited to be here today. I have my Go Code Colorado jacket on. I'm a huge supporter, was a judge last year, really excited to be back. And um, as I said, as was said a little bit earlier ago, I'm the executive director of the Pikes Peak SBDC, you know, somehow representing all the SBDCs in Colorado that work with small businesses that use data every day in their applications um, and, and create those applications that we use as well, must I say. So um, with that, I guess I'm here to do a quick spiel on the growth of data in the Colorado business um, ecosystem. And, you know, I'd like to start off with like a quick statement that actually a cybersecurity consultant once said to me um, when we're talking about the importance of the use of data and privacy and things like that, because that all plays into this too. But did you know that 80% of organizational operations are automated? So if you think of that, Everything that businesses do touch technology. The majority of what we do touches technology. And what that means is that businesses have to have technology to survive, right? Like, so to be competitive, to do good work, to create innovation, to be quick with decisions, whether that's everything from making an appointment to analyzing that data to create the next best innovative piece of whatever, businesses use data for everything that they do. Not only do businesses use data, but businesses, data and applications, I'd say, but businesses create applications that consumers use, that we use every day in our everyday lives. So the application of data and that, if you think about some of the big ones, let's say the big ones. So Google, hey, Google, can you find the address for XXX restaurant, right? Social media platforms, businesses and consumers constantly posting things on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is I used um, to, to get your information out there. Alexa, finding your favorite song. Hey, Alexa, can you play that song that I love? Um, and you think about even the simple things like robo blockers or payment processing and things like that. If you use Venmo to pay your friends, we're constantly as consumers using that data. Guess what? The businesses are gathering that data. So talk about the increase of data in the ecosystem. Every day, millions and millions of people are adding to that data baseline, right? So how are we going to use that data to better the process for businesses? So with that said, GoCo Colorado is amazing and is awesome because they've created this application to really use this, this public data to create really useful and applicable ways to of application sorry I'm using that word again but i guess it's the right word to use in this case um to really help businesses create operational efficiencies make those quick decisions be fast be productive and be innovative so you know just to kind of round this like quick spiel up i'm really excited about go code colorado 2022 i'm really excited to see what the applications are going to be created um, with the use of this data so that it'll help the businesses in our communities and really is the face of the future of business as well. And with that, I'd like to welcome everyone here. If you're a supporter, if you're a judge, if you're know, if you just here because you love data, which is super cool also, like geeking out on data is awesome. Um, I'm just really excited because this is what creates the future of business. And this is what helps our small businesses and all businesses move forward in Colorado. So thank you so much for letting me be here again this year for my second year as part of Go Code Colorado. And thank you, Zach and Emily and everyone for putting this together.